Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, gift boxes, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day. And whenever I announce giveaways, there should be one live on the community tab right now. If not, it will be there very, very soon. As always, if you're already subscribed. Thank you so, so much for being here and welcome back. Today I've got a little bonus video for you. It is the box by Fashion Star. This is actually the April women's box. Mine arrived a little bit late, so I wasn't sure if I was going to film and post this video, but this is actually the first one that has been sent to me for review. So I wanted to go ahead and share the contents with you. They've already been announcing the spoilers for the May box and it does look like it's going to be a good one. So you might want to get your hands on that. The box is just $24.99 per month but they always guarantee a value of over a hundred dollars sometimes it is well over a hundred dollars they do also now have a rewards program so I'm able to give you a 10% off link which I will leave for you in the description box below I think this is one of the better beauty boxes out there at least for me it's always a nice balance between skincare and makeup items and that's great for someone like me who doesn't wear a ton of makeup in my daily life because I mostly work from home but I do still like to sometimes get some fun colors for eyeshadow or lip colors and then of course I really appreciate all of the great skincare items that they select for us and I also really enjoy getting to know some of the indie brands that they present in the box so let's go ahead and get into it one of the other really fun things about this box is they always have a theme which kind of sets them apart from other beauty boxes so there's always kind of a vibe kind of a message going along with that month which I think is really fun so the theme for the month of April is bloom out of the ordinary and they had some gorgeous floral images on their Instagram account and then on the back they do tell you all about the different products they include the retail values which you guys know I definitely appreciate and they do the math for us and they tell us that the total retail value on this April box is $149.95 which is like six times the value of what you would pay for the box so pretty phenomenal value and it looks like we have six items so let's go ahead and get into it and see what we have got now they always use this uh, black shred which is always a little bit dusty so I always have like a little cloth so I can clean things off to show you so let's go ahead and start with the biggest item this was something that I saw over on Instagram it's from the green co and it is some reusable cotton rounds some, some makeup remover pads essentially we can all be a little bit more green for sure I've actually gotten these before from Cosbox, so let's go ahead and take a look at them though it says they have a value of $13.95. Be conscious consumer and reduce your daily waste by swapping your makeup remover wipes for these green, eco-friendly, washable, reusable pads. They are 100% natural and vegan. So we actually got a ton of them this time. I feel like this is much more than I got in my first set. And it's got this nice mesh bag so you can throw all of them in there so that you can put them all in the wash and they don't kind of like float around on their own. So wow, there are a ton in here. I, it doesn't say on the box how many there are, but there are a lot. And they're actually very, very cute. They've got this nice like seafoam green edging and they have two different textures. So one side is kind of like silkier and softer, more like a velvet. And the other side, it's not rough. It's still very soft, but it feels a little bit more textured like a terry cloth towel or something. So that'd probably be better for your like cleansers, etc. So let's see what it actually says. It says bamboo fiber and cotton velvet. Yes, yeah, so it says machine and hand wash dryer friendly or air dry and they have a 3.1 inch diameter that extra 0.1 I think is just like the edging so let me go ahead and put those off to the side and we'll take a look at something else so this is a beautiful bottle whatever it is it says Soleil let your hair shine hydroline miracle protector spray for use before heat application protects the hair from heat damage so this is the bottle now I don't actually do any heat styling on my hair I just kind of let it air dry so this is probably something that I will pass on to someone else who, you know, does their like blowouts. Says this has a value of $35, helps strengthen and protect the hair from daily use of thermal tools, builds strength and resilience, and improves moisture and shine, suitable for all hair types, and it is cruelty free. That is the case usually with the brands that are in the box, which I definitely appreciate. So now we have, I think, our first makeup item in this very like reflective box. So let's see what this is. 
it says if you can put it on you can pull it off that's kind of cute um so let's see it says uh this is by julep it says when pencil met gel long lasting eyeliner crayon oh and then it was in french sorry and then you guys this is the color it's like a bright blue wow so this is going to be a little bit daring for me i wonder if it's if it is actually that color because it says that it is a electric teal shimmer Woo! so it says this has a value of 12 dollars. the perfect mix of pencil meets gel in a fun pop of color to add some blooming style to your spring and summer looks vegan and cruelty free so there may have been some color variations they don't do any customization yet that's kind of sort of on the list as they continue to grow if they can make that available so let me know if you got a different color i'm pretty excited about the teal though and i love the idea of it being like a really nice um gliding pencil because i like like a liquid liner for the top I don't use a lot of top eyeliner though because I have eyelash extensions so in terms of getting kind of playful with my eyeliner it's usually for the bottom um, but I so th for that reason I appreciate when it's pencil uh, I usually am a little bit more um, like not as exciting I'll do like a dark blue or like a dark purple so this teal might be a little bit adventurous for me but you know adventure is good so here's what it looks like so it looks like it's one of those like self sharpening kinds which I also appreciate appreciate so this will be fun you'll have to tell me if you notice if I actually get brave enough to try it before filming one of these days all right what else have we got oh we've got our palette so I did see this over on Instagram as well and it does have a little shrink wrap on it so let me just pull that off it is by Cleo Noir it says this is a foreshadow eye palette it has a value of $32 pigmented blendable full spectrum creamy rich formula that stays put without the mess of excess fallout we'll see about that um, and it is cruelty free so I know that like sometimes it'll say like no fallout and it's a really creamy blend but like you never know and if sometimes I feel like those are much better to apply with your fingers than with a brush that's my limited makeup knowledge that I have discovered over the past year and a half so this is what the palette looks like it is very pretty very usable daytime shades nothing too crazy here it looks like there are two shimmers two mattes but I do definitely appreciate a simple palette like this that's great for travel and it does feel like it has a nice like magnetic closure which I also appreciate I've noticed with some of my other palettes when I have gone ahead and put them in a makeup bag that's when you get the fallout not even on your face it's just in your makeup bag and that drives me nuts um, and just feels like so wasteful and it just kind of gets messy and smeary and stuff so I appreciate that this seems like it's nice and closed when it snaps shut and those are really pretty colors I think I can definitely do something with that and of course you could just bring another mini palette if you wanted to take your like daytime look to a nighttime look and just kind of freshen things up but I also kind of appreciate that it's like this narrow shape instead of like a quad I just feel like somehow that might like fit better in purses or makeup bags sometimes all right something else in the makeup realm so we actually got at least three makeup items so again it is always a nice balance sometimes I feel like it's like more like four skincare things and then maybe two makeup items um, so this is a lipstick and liner duo so that's actually awesome this is by Bella Pierre cosmetics which is a brand we have been seeing in boxes lifestyle and beauty boxes quite a bit but I have been really pleased with the products that I have gotten the chance to try it says this has a value of $25 richly picked pigmented matte lipstick and coordinating lip liner formulated with nourishing ingredients such as sunflower seed oil and jojoba well I opened it like on the wrong side so let me see if I can open it on the other side gotta get the little sticker how cool that they gave us the lipstick and the liner that's awesome I have noticed that as I've gotten older I've definitely had to start using liner to kind of keep any bleeding from happening so let's see what the color is if it's the color that's on the box I'm gonna be really happy because that's totally a color that I would pick out so this is what it looks like I have a couple of Bella Pierre um, lipsticks now it says it's nude but there feels like it seems like there's a little bit more pigment than a nude um, but it will probably look pretty nude on me I don't have very much pigment in my lips naturally so this is a good every day and so then it's very good that it's matte as well and then I like that then we have the matching lip liner because this can be used with other colors as well and you can kind of just kind of go over it or just kind of clean up the lines so that's awesome so it's just a regular pencil the kind you do have to do have to sharpen which I do have sharpeners I just have to be better about actually cleaning them just like I have to be better about cleaning all my makeup brushes too now that I started to use makeup a little bit more but I have to say I have been in enjoying uh, playing around a little bit more 
I think we have one more item and that is the Beauty Baton. So I think it's by Ready Set Jet, I think is the company. So yes, and this has a value of $32 and this is what the box looks like. Sometimes I forget to show you guys the box. Um, it says one stick, multiple benefits. This on the go multitasking stick has no rules with interchangeable ends for a customizable experience. And then it says it's vegan and cruelty free. It says live in your skin, love your world. Oh, this has one of those boxes where the tab are like really stuck it's gonna take me a second to open this up so and then I always feel bad because sometimes I wind up re-gifting these things to people but obviously I've opened up the box to take a look at the product or take photos of the product and I'm like don't don't mind the box I promise the product inside is just fine <laughs> all right so I think I can pull it out finally Woo, that was tough so here is our baton I'm still like kind of confused as to what this is I know it has two different ends so one side is a skin face scrub so it's like a big chapstick for your face essentially and I guess you just uh, kind of like screw it so, to, so it comes to the top so I guess it's a scrub and you would just I mean wipe it clean maybe with one of those little makeup remover pads I guess um, and then the other side so you don't have to like have a cleanser and like a washcloth I guess this is a more on the go version the other side is a face balm so yes it really is like a chapstick for your face so I think this is kind of a good way to like freshen up if you've been out and about it's been like a long hot day and you just kind of want to like start over I guess you would have to probably have some sort of like makeup remover if you did have some makeup on and then you could just kind of like do a quick cleanse freshen up in the bathroom with some um, balm so it's like not as messy maybe as having a moisturizer so I can see that being very useful I'm, I'm curious to see if I actually use it but it's definitely worth throwing in my purse and maybe the occasion will arise so it's a very novel item it's not necessarily one that I think that I will use that often because again I usually work from home I haven't had the opportunity to have sort of like half day or full day excursions lately so um, but again it's seems like it would be great for travel so let's just go over everything that we got in this awesome bloom uh, April box we got our Soleil protector spray which is something I will be passing on to someone else we got our ready set jet baton with the um, like cleanser on one side or the scrub on one side and then the balm on the other we got our Clio Noir four shade eyeshadow palette which I do think is uh, very very pretty and very useful for travel not super adventurous so sometimes it is kind of nice to just have like a nice basic palette we got our Bella Pierre cosmetics uh, lipstick and liner duo it might be a little bit light for me because I do like to usually have a little bit of color on my lips but I do definitely appreciate that they gave us the set we got the julep uh, pencil met eyeliner gel or met gel eyeliner and I think that is actually really fun it might be my favorite item in the box just because it's a uh, adventurous color and then finally we got the green co reusable makeup remover pads which are a great thing to have I'm happy to add to my collection so that I don't have to wash them quite as often. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item in this April box was. And if you are already subscribed to Fashion Style, the box by Fashion Style, I would love to hear from you. If you have any ideas about other beauty boxes that you'd like to see me uh, review here on the channel, I don't do a ton of them, like I said, because I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I'm always open to your suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.